In this video, we'll be comparing the real coordinate plane and the complex plane. On the left, you'll see um, the plane that we'll be using to designate our real number coordinates. And our real numbers Um, we will show uh, as an ordered pair, x, y. On the right, you'll see the complex plane, and our complex numbers will be showing as a plus b, i, where a is the real part and B, I is the imaginary part. Right. Now on the real coordinate plane, our axes are labeled with X as the horizontal axis and Y as the vertical axis. On the complex plane, our axis is labeled as a real axis on the horizontal axis and an imaginary axis for the vertical axis. Now if we had a point, say our point was two root three, two, I would need to So 2 root 3 is about 3 and a half. So I'll go right 3 and a half and up 2, and that'll be my point. So this distance is 2 root 3. And this distance is 2. Now if we wanted to talk about this vector that goes from the origin out to the point, we would write this with a little bit different notation. Sometimes you'll see it with the ordered pair notation. But uh, for the vector, you'll sometimes see the horizontal component, 2 root 3, with an i vector notation. And then the vertical component, the 2, um, with a j vector notation. Now on the complex plane, I'm going to um, take the same numbers and if I go right to root 3 and up 2 that point is on the real axis I have 2 root 3 and on the imaginary axis I have 2i so this point is shown with the binomial 2 root 3 plus 2i. And again, this is my um, real component. And then this is my imaginary. Alright, now let's look at um, the real coordinate plane if we were doing it in polar form. On the left we have our real coordinate plane polar form, and on the right you'll notice that the polar form looks the same, but our notations will be a little bit different. And we had 2 root 3 and 2 as our uh, real point. Um, that point will be 
4 at 30 degrees, 4 at 30 degrees, which is right here. This radius is 30 degrees, and then this one is 60. So um, some places you'll see that written as 430, or sometimes you'll see it written as 430 with this notation. But basically what this is giving us is the distance from the center here out to the point is 4 units, and so that's usually R. And so on polar form, we write it as R theta or R theta. And then theta is our angle from uh, this positive. It would be the positive x-axis if we were on the real coordinate plane in the rectangular form. But this horizontal axis to the right here. So the angle that's formed by that uh, axis and our vector. Now if we um, look at the notation for the complex plane, we're going to write our points in R times the cosine of theta plus I sine theta. So we still have the R and the theta involved, but this time we have the uh, imaginary unit I involved. And this does have a shortcut, so you'll, instead of having to write all of this, you may write R C I S theta. So for this, for this uh, same point, we want to go four units out and then 30 degrees, it'll be right here, and it's still the same it might be in uh, degrees or it might be in radians. But our point now, um, if we're indicating a complex number, we would write this as 4 CIS 30. Or uh, you may see it as 4 times the cosine of 30 plus I times the sine of 30. So for the short notation, we take the C, and then the imaginary I, and then the S, and that's where that comes from.